oh, this is it. This is the end. The end of collecting as we know it. It's over. What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the PSA price increases. I got a few requests. Please talk about the PSA price increases. Tell us what you think. How can we submit cards now? It's impossible. Don't panic. PSA has recently doubled the prices of their submissions. So everything, I think every single service level, it just doubled. So if you were paying 75 for Express, it's now 150. Paying 10 for bulk, it's now 20. They completely eliminated the economy, which nobody was using anyway, I feel like. Um, then they doubled the regular, so now it's 100. That one used to be 20, now it's $100. So what do I think about it? This was expected. Beckett recently raised their prices a ton. They like doubled as well. So I knew if Beckett's that much higher, PSA is gonna follow suit. There's no reason for them to charge like a third of the price of Beckett. This doesn't make any sense. So they of course raised their prices because there's just insane demand right now. Everyone is grading. Everyone wants to get graded cards. Everyone's expecting, you know, them to turn them around in a week, even though they have thousands, millions of cards. But there's a couple of negatives and positives to go with this. So the negatives are obviously we now have to pay more to grade our cards. So that kind of stinks. Also, lower value cards are not really worth it as much. Cards that you'd grade that were like 10 bucks, you know, maybe 15 bucks, they could become 50 bucks or something like that. Now, not so much worth it. If they're 10 bucks, you have to pay 20 bucks. That's $30 of your 50 you can get from selling it. And there's all the fees. You make like a few bucks. If it gets a 10, if you make a nine, you just lose all your money. It's just not really as worth it for those anymore. So that's kind of the negatives. You have to pay more, obviously. That's the one everyone's upset about. Also, if you send it in before they raise the prices, they're not gonna they're not gonna upcharge you for an, for a new price because obviously you submit submit it at a certain rate. They're not gonna just make you pay more. That won't happen. So if you're worried about that, don't worry about it. It's not gonna happen. If you locked in at the old rate, you're good. Even if it comes back in like a year and they've doubled them again, you're still gonna get this rate. So you're fine. So don't worry about that. There's several positives that come from this change as well because now, because the prices are higher, there are gonna be less submissions, which is awesome because right now there are so many submissions. Everyone is submitting everything. They pull like a common card from the newest set. They're gonna grade it. That's basically what's happening right now. So this is gonna be great because this is gonna, it's gonna deter people from doing that. They're like, eh, do I really wanna spend $20 on that common card? Maybe I'll, maybe I won't do it anymore. It was okay at 10, but 20 is a little bit too much. So it's gonna deter that. That creates faster turnaround time. So we are not gonna have to wait quite as long for everything. They've also upgraded their system. So now you can see the last date that was submitted that has been graded or whatever. So like you can see like through like July 4th, everything's been graded that they had then. So you can kind of see how far away you are from your submission being graded. I also noticed that the quarterly specials are actually behind the bulk, even though the quarterly specials were only 45 day turnarounds. So those are actually taking longer. I have one submission in there, so it's been there for a while. Probably not coming back for a long time because they were in June and I sent it in October. So it's not gonna be, you know, months probably. They also had something, it was like, if you send Super Express, there's like a display or something. It seems like there's a cool like little thing if you send it in at $300, that's how much it costs for Super Express, which is insane. But if you have a huge card you and you have to send it Super Express, it'll be cool to get it back. So that's pretty cool as well. Also, if you're super worried about not being able to sub anymore, you can't afford it, you know, $20, $75, or you know, I guess it's 150 now. Yeah, whatever it is. Uh, don't worry about that because this is the thing I've always loved about PSA submissions. You can send your cards in, they could sit there for 10 years. They won't charge you until they're done grading. So I used to be super worried about how much money I had to spend on my sub. So like if it was like a $200 sub, I'd be like, wow, this is way too much. Cause back then that was like a ton for me. It's like a couple years ago. I was like, I don't know if I can spend 200, but I was like, wait, they're not going to charge me until it's done. I found this out. And that means if I really need to, I can sell some of the cards that I graded. So if it worse comes to worse and I have to get the $200, I can sell the cards I graded and there's almost no way they don't make $200 because that usually increases the value of your cards by quite a bit. So if you are worried about them being too expensive, if you submit quality cards, there's not really anything you got to worry about other than if you really don't want to sell all your cards. Like if you're if they're all collector's cards, you really don't want to sell them and you got to eat the cost of every single one, then maybe you got, you got to worry about it. But if you have a few cards you can sell in there, they're not going to charge you till it's done. Then when it's done, you go ahead and sell those cards. It'll help you pay for the grading fees. It's not too bad. So it's a really nice thing about PSA that I really appreciate rather than them charging you and then making you wait after charging you. It's just brutal. And if you guys are worried about that, you know, that's something that you can take into account. It's not too bad. So overall, I think the PSA changes are expected. 
they are it is a lot to submit now but it's really not that bad for the value that they give you they give you a ton of value they grade your card if it's a quality card a nine or a ten the value goes up so they're you are paying them to give you more money basically so if you have a card and it's a raw card it's a thousand dollars you graded a 10 now it's five thousand dollars and it cost you three hundred dollars to grade it or two or 150. i mean what's the complaint about there it's like if you didn't send it to them it's a $1,000 card and said it's a $5,000 card. So I never understand the complaining behind up chargers and all that stuff. It's like, yeah, that's the value of your card. It should be charged at that rate. So that's my opinion. A lot of people are very upset when it comes to that. They're like, you shouldn't charge that. You shouldn't know the values. It's like, well, that's kind of their job in my opinion. Overall, that's what I. That's how I feel about PSA. Do not panic. They're not gonna upcharge you if it was early. And do not panic if you think this is the end of grading. It's definitely not, but they will definitely slow it down, which is a good thing, I think, for everyone. We don't need people sending in 5 million cards, even though I sometimes do send in a lot. And for those grading services and stuff, I'm sure they will update their prices soon so you guys can see how you send them in, like, Graded Gym and Ludkins and all that stuff. And people will be back to grading normally. I figure that after about a week of panic, people will just start sending stuff back in. But that's my opinion on the PSA stuff. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh. <laughs>